Keep going. That's not gonna hold him. Go! Fuck, that's Fox. Alright, I lost him. Oh, oh dude! <laughs> what? That was legit. That was legit. Hey guys, and welcome to GT Not Live, where today we are completing our reaction to the newest Spectre FNAF VHS tape, Police Archive. Uh, when last we left things off, we had our resilient, plucky little sheriff's deputy friend going off on his own to take down a group of rampaging animatronics and the weird, like, robber kidnapper folk that were going through like a slow speed chase it was it was a weird vibe for sure the lore of this franchise or at least this like subset au version of the franchise that we all know and love it's going to some uh, pretty dark and disturbing places and also uh going in, it's almost into like heist mode which is kind of cool fnaf heist mode that sounds like a winning game right there yes i would all be about that that did you uh did either of you youths see what was it? The not Army of Darkness. Um, the Zack Snyder movie where they're in Vegas, but it's the zombie apocalypse. No? No. And it's supposed to be a heist movie? It's a zombie heist movie? I definitely remember that if I saw right. it. Shoot, what was the name of it? Uh, zombie. Was it called Zombie Vegas Heist? No, it should have been. That would have been great. Here, I'm going to look it up. It's uh, Zack Snyder Zombie Heist Movie. What was it? Army of the Dead. I, the, all, all the zombie movies have like very generic names. Army of the Dead. Army of the Dead. Zombie heist movie. Great. It becomes a zombie apocalypse movie rather than a heist movie, which was a bit of a letdown for me. Like, zombie heist. Brilliant. Basically, any format plus zombies, probably a, a, an interesting win. I know they tried it with Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which did not work as well as it probably could have or should have, but I also think that that was like you know, that was a pretty big leap, you know? Like, I think they could have waited into the baby pool first. Like, zombie heist makes sense before you get to, like, zombie British period piece. You know, zombie upstairs, downstairs. Zombie Downton that. Abbey. Nice. Does I it, love that. By, by the way, does any of you have... Although I do like the idea of, like, a zombie in a top hat with, like, a, a cravat being like, oh, let me eat some brains. Uh, doing it the classy, stylish way. Uh, do either of you have parents or loved ones involved no. in the world of Britain? No, just be, <laughs> no. wait for the respect. <laughs> you jumped the gun a little, might be revealing a bit too much of yourself there, Ash. No, it's all a joke. It's done. Um, who are into British period pieces at all? Yes. Yeah? Oh, Sam. Big solid yes over from Sam. Very much so. Really? My mom, when we first got Netflix, I don't think she understood that there were like American television and movies on there it really? was pretty exclusively <laughs> british period content yeah so now she's all about like the the bridgertons of the world and stuff like uh, a thousand percent <laughs> do you know if she's watched uh downton abbey i, I am pretty sure she has okay. i've definitely seen bridgerton on our netflix downton and abbey yeah um wow those are like the big ones but like there's those been a the ton biggest. of other like random British ones that I don't know. Yes. Yeah, oh, no, there's, I mean, there's, oh, yeah. it's infinite. It's infinite. And basically, it's all just, like, the entire roster of Jane Austen movies just on repeat. Like, or Jane Austen books on repeat. Like, here's the, like, seven books. Cycle them through. Like, oh, time for another reboot of Pride and Prejudice. Uh, I guess we're, we're getting down to the dregs now. Might as well do Persuasion again. <laughs> uh, like, that's, that's, you know that they're getting desperate for Jane Austen remakes when they get down to Persuasion. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. You, yeah, are you a Jane austen Um, I... You, you said it with such confidence, Ash. Well, I'm aware... Not to put you on the spot. I'm aware of her pieces. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't go so far as to use that specific term. Her oeuvre? Sure. Yeah, great. Um, her collected works? Her collected works, Did you yeah. know that Steph and I went to visit her house when we were in London? Really? There? Yeah, uh, we went to... Um, it, it's not in London. It's one of the cities surrounding London. Um, but we, we went to, uh, I believe it's Bath actually. Uh, she, for a while she lived in Bath cause Bath was kind of like the, the new up and coming, like, Ooh, it's the hip cool suburbs basically, Ooh, uh, for all the classy people. 
and um, and some artsy people and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, visited her house and uh, she had all these like cool wax statues of her stuff. So I took a picture with Jane Austen. Stephanie dressed like a magician. Like they have a dr- like dress up in the period piece, and Stephanie just looked like a magician with a big top hat. It's great. So they had around. they made like wax figures of her to put in the house. Oh yeah. Or mm-hmm. did she just like have these old wax figures of herself? Well, in an interesting twist, too, there's only like one picture of her that exists, maybe. Ooh. So yeah, it's kind of like a mystery what she actually looked like. Huh. Like there wasn't a whole lot of documentation about her, which is wild. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she's got kind of that mysterious author thing going on, kind of like Billy Shakes. Yeah. Billy Shakes. I love that for her. Yeah, right? Yeah. Stan. Kind of like disembodied author situation. I, I also love it. It's, it's a great museum, actually. Uh, I think Mr. Wickham recognized me, but he could, you know. But Mr. Wickham. Mr. Wickham. He recognized me and he's like, oh, hey, cool. You know, he, they're all in, it's like, it's like a mini version of Disney World, except, you know, British. <laughs> uh, it's like British nerdy disney world but everyone there is is dressed in character or are acting as a character and so like you can ask them about oh so i'm i'm sorry about what happened between you and fanny and they're like oh i know tis a shame right i don't know what i just jumped through four different accents (laughs) i mean back then they were slapping their knees all over the place oh yeah let's be honest uh anyway uh enough about uh classic british period pieces uh, Police Archive, FNAF VHS. This is back to Spectre. Uh, as we talked about last time, he got his channel back, so be safe about your cybersecurity, my friends. Don't click on suspicious links. Uh, otherwise, your, you know, your very carefully curated, well-produced uh, FNAF fan alternate universe uh, might be uh, taken over by Elon Musk crypto scammers. As, as you do. As, well, yeah. You know, welcome to GT Live, where our conversations range from British period piece to the Jane Austen Museum to Elon Musk crypto scammers and murder animatronics. This is why we're an educational channel, guys. Yeah, three times a week, y'all. Yeah, baby. Uh, also, last uh, one other additional reminder: if you are interested into, if, if you are interested into, good one, Matt. I can speak. If I you're think. interested, if into... you're interested in, it's a real knee slapper, you know. <laughs> Well, if you're interested into the old-timey video games, uh, we've got this Tron-inspired uh, runner shirt. Uh, it is two-toned. It is very soft, as uh, Sam has attested to in previous uploads. And so if you have the quid to spare, if you have the quid to spare, make sure you toss a copper into the hat of Queer Ink, uh, so that way you can get it chipped to your door. Uh, we also have ourselves the cool sweat outfit. As- oh, no, I hit play accidentally with the pants. Uh, we also have the cool the sweat knee outfit. slapped onto the yeah, the knee slap. It's a knee, it's a knee slap onto the space bar to play the play it. Uh, but anyway, uh, with the the cool channel colors represented, it's it's a slightly different blue because it works better in this design. But anyway, there you go. And on the back, and then uh, the hoodie is also one that you might have seen me wear in past live streams. Very cool, uh, very fun. Highly recommend. Uh, grab it now, and you'll get it delivered right to your door asap. Uh, so there you have it. Those, those are available, so so top, toss a copper into my cap, and uh, good day to y'all. And <laughs> no, that's why I don't We're do We're going accents. crazy. That's why I don't do accents, I'm telling you. And uh, let's move over to Police Archive, FNAF VHS. Mr. Wickham! Let's see if I can find out where they went. Let's see where they went! All right. It looks like they went off the right in this direction. So let's into see if I can catch up to them. Okay. This is the, like, what that thing is. weird part where there's supposed to be a building, and we saw no building. Not after what they did tonight. Love the sound. It's a good crunchy sound. Sounds like you drink from a very hollow Damn. water bottle. What is this place? Again, I mean, I know we're not... Oh, I see it. I know sometimes we're not the most observant of people, and sometimes we miss, like... The literal forest for the trees. Do you? Ash, I do. Just, I do. You do. Yeah. Please, please Look. indicate okay. by gesticulating towards the screen right now. Okay, I'll go up there I'm and in. point like a little lecturer. Because this is definitely a horizon line, right? Are you, are you just gonna refer to this whole thing? Yeah. So this is the bottom here, and then this little black portion are the windows, and then there's like an upper white um, row here. So so, so, like so everything in the distance is this. Location? Um, I don't think there's anything up here. I think it's just this, like, little block. It Did... ends around right here. Okay, there. But what about all this on this side? Is this not also the building? Yeah, no. It goes across the Oh, it's, it's literally this, like, like, jumbo building. 
Okay, so it's a random mall built into the forest that's way out there. Actually, I might go up here now that I'm looking at it. Right, it's like, like this. Okay, <laughs> cool. Random forest mall. It's it's coming to me all at once. Sure. Okay. So, so, you know, maybe there's a place that this place is abandoned. That this like, hey, we thought that this was gonna be a good idea, but then no one came to our random forest mall. We weren't getting a lot of foot traffic, so it just closed down. I mean, I've been Looks to abandoned. some abandoned malls in some weird locations. Or at least pretty run down. But like as he as he looks, as he pans, if what you're telling me is true and, and that this and this is the is the mall. Yeah. It's literally his entire field of view. It's literally the entirety of the horizon as he pans across. It's a massive building. Yeah, it's a mall. <laughs> yes, that's fair, fair. Fine. Mall or something. The hell is it doing in a place like this? What is it doing in a place? As in, as in the woods. This must be where they broke in. And out. We talked where about the glass last time. At least where someone broke in. Out and in combination. Look at me. Be an encyclopedia brown over here. Jesus, this place definitely looks bigger on the inside. Like I mean, it looks fairly intact, but my God, did they let this place go? <laughs> my God. How could they have let it come to this? Look at how shiny these floors are. Look at how pristine white everything is. They've really let it go. There's a random hole. Not that bad. These are the old businesses they closed down. You know, for for a building, an abandoned building in the woods where people are know it exists and are able to break in and do graffiti on the walls, there's a surprising lack of graffiti on literally every surface possible. I, I have been to abandoned buildings, like there's one not too far from here, and the, the amount of just graffiti on graffiti on graffiti, tons. Also, not nearly enough uh, pictures of ma male genitalia graffitied for it to be believable. Well... That's, not, that's my, not me making a judgment call, by the way. I am perfectly fine with a, a grand total of zero pictures of male genitalia. I'm just saying that if teenagers are breaking into a mall and graffitiing stuff on the wall, you're guaranteed, like... You're guaranteed at least one, if not several, you know, uh, pictures of male genitalia. Well, I have a theory. Um, I don't even know what we're, I don't even know how to classify it, but sure, what is it? So this mall is in the middle of a forest. It is, yeah. Right? It appears to be, yes. Um, oh, mm, this is happening before the 2000s. So my initial theory was that, well, kids don't go outside anymore uh-huh so they're not going to go into the woods to find it because they're going to be like ew mud ew snakes <laughs> ew i'm just going to go play Fortnite with the boys exactly yeah sure um so <laughs> woods bugs gross Fortnite so we with can, the boys we can simplify this theory and say it is very hidden and maybe yeah. maybe this mall which is weirdly hidden and looks like modern-esque yeah so it's like it probably wasn't alive and hustling for too long no it i mean if it has the look and feel of a 90s mall yeah. where the ceilings are lower it's a little bit more dimly lit it's not as like naturalistic you know like a, now modern malls have the kind of like flow and there's open corridors and this and that and you have like the big atrium areas where people gather this this feels like a like a, the malls that i grew up with which is like early 90s malls yeah um but even still, like, people are breaking in and doing graffiti. Yeah. And, and where there be graffiti, there be plenty of F-bombs and artistic renditions of long tubes and circular objects. Yeah. You know, I've always wanted to do graffiti on a wall. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. We should do that at some point. Oh, my gosh. You said there's a, an abandoned building near here? There is, yeah. Well, I'm going to be very honest with you. I feel a little upset that you didn't tell me about this sooner. Don't worry. Uh, Ollie wants his birthday party there. Oh my gosh. Yes! Good! Excellent! Not a joke. Can we all go and do graffiti at Ollie's birthday? Uh, we, you and you, me and Sam might have to do independent graffiti before Ollie's birthday to cover <laughs> up the multiple pictures of male genitalia and swear words that are there that Ollie thankfully does not know what they are. And it's like, oh, are they coloring pictures on the walls, Daddy? Yes. Yes, they are. Well, maybe for the after party, the three of us can go and do the more um, scandalous imagery back yeah we will yeah. replace it the way we found it in, in, as yeah. it was meant to be yeah like that was the first draft yeah and now we are going in and perfecting it right 
I don't think I've ever graffitied a, a male genitalia on anything, so that'll be... That'll this be... implies that you have graffitied. Uh, I have done... If, if graffiti means using spray paint to paint a thing on a wall, yes. If graffiti means doing it illegally on a wall, then no, I haven't. I've only... I'm, I'm not that type of guy. Well, what did you spray paint on the wall legally? It, it wasn't great, actually. Um, I've done the Game Theory logo once on, on, a, on a thing before. Oh, well, that's pretty um, cool. Yeah. And legally, too. Yeah, and legally. Yeah, it was, it was kind of, like, asked of me. So I've, I've, done, I've, I've signed my name, the, like, once or twice. No. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> stuff like that. Anyway, hey, Spectre. <laughs> by the feds. You said it was legal. No. So clearly some feds. governmental force had to. Clearly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it was just the owner of the wall. I mean, I guess so. <laughs> if I didn't get government clearance, it was, property ownership belonged to the person making the request. You know? I mean, they could have been a fed. Perhaps. You know what? That's the lore. At yeah. this, it, it was a fed. You were so right, Ash. It was a fed the whole time. Secret fed. Okay. The architecture looks super retro, though. Yeah. This place had to be built in like the late 60s to early 70s at least. Wow. That is really? I, really? I love that this sheriff's deputy is an expert in old mall architecture. <laughs> Look, he went down some rabbit holes back in the day. <laughs> right? uh, I'll have you know that I, I, I would challenge malls in the 60s? What would a mall in a here? Hold on. I thought malls were like a decidedly like 90s here. Malls in the 60s. Okay, I mean, 70s Mall, Mall of America. There's more shapes, though. There are a lot of shapes. And, and I see, okay, here's what I would challenge, actually, is the coloring of the mall. Anything in the 60s is very, usually in this, like, very drab yellows and greens. Like, that was very much the color of the time. And maybe this place has been repainted, but the very clean white feels very, like, now, like, 90s to now. Um... I don't disagree that the, you know, that, that the shapes could work. But again, you also have the wider paneled ceilings as opposed to the more square paneled ceilings. Like you had the more rectangular back in the day. Yeah. I Challenge, but also, hey, if you're telling me this, this is, a, this is what it is, right? Like, this is what the creator's telling us. Which is fine. Like, I'm not being picky about it. I wonder if there's still... Uh, oh, there wait a minute! Is, there it is. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! I wonder... Yeah! No! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Genitalia Watch 2023, baby! Woo! We, the, the rocket has landed! Yes. We did it, boys! We did it! We've done it! Achievement unlocked! Boop! Flash that gamer score across the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh man great <laughs> uh see i you know again if it, if it's my first time doing it i don't think i'm drawing the hair i'm i'm, I'm keeping it clean <laughs> no way How is there still power in this place? Perhaps. Well, if there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. Perhaps I gotta make sure backup thing. knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action is. Where the action? They'll be looking everywhere the action is. This is it. This is where I the action I love this guy. This guy's great. This is his first shift. <laughs> right? He's, he's so eager. He's like, yeah, I just got shot at. My partner just died in front of me. I got mauled by an animatronic. This is where the action is. This is what I signed up to do when I joined the force. Yes. Not mortal terror for my own life. It's like, yeah, Rambo. Renegade time. I'm an adult. Let's do this. I think that's a map right there. Let's see if I can find the office buildings. Right, right there? Okay, let's see. Office, office, Great office, eyes. office. Uh, ah, here. Okay. Second floor on the east side. All right. Let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. <laughs> Again, give it Sermon solid first day on the job energy. Yeah. We're going to get the cavalry. I'm going to sound my bugle. Doot, 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 doot. 
and then we're all going to descend upon here and we're going to capture us some animatronics and robbers. Let's the, go. The visual of him carrying around a bugle makes this so much better. <laughs> I also just, wish that he just like hopped around everywhere like he's on his horse. Like on the cavalry. It's like the Saber. Monty Python kind of thing where they're just like... <laughs> exactly. There it is. <laughs> okay, so I might not be much of a rebel in my life. I am rebellious enough to have gone down an up escalator. An up and down escalator. Wait. That's pretty edgy of me. How long until the rest show up? Edge Lord Matt. Oh, wait. Is the closed captions on? Last time the closed captions were really helpful. So, <laughs> you know, we got to make sure we put those on. <laughs> How long until the rest show up? From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. Oh, wow. I love it. it he, sounds like a, he sounds like a die-hard villain. Oh. First, we you quit your f***ing bitching and hand me the pliers? <laughs> wow. Ah, I see. They're scrappers. Ah! British scrappers. Ah, you know, oh, the scrappers. As in, like, they, they like a good fisticuff every once in a while. Oh, they're a scrapper, hey? Eh? Oh, uh, yes. Obviously, that thing that is very common here in, in modern times. It's people breaking the malls and pulling it for scrap parts. I wonder what they need all that for, though. I love that he's being stealthy, but his zoom lens is the <laughs> loudest thing ever. Whee! No one's gonna notice this one. Shh. I have to be very quiet right now. I must narrate everything I do. <laughs> Dear diary, I think I've stumbled across some scrappers. I'm gonna get a closer look. <laughs> Telephoto lens, extend. He's just walking in the middle of everything. What do you think you're doing, Solid Snake? Okay, I got it. Open the bag. I heard that! Who's there? Oh, you in trouble, son. This ain't a video game. Maybe if you knock over like a box hey, or something, it'll distract who's you. Who's that? Oh. MCPD! Hands up! Now! How the f Ooh! 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 Boy! Oh man! Freddy Fazbear first person shooter! <laughs> What are you doing? This isn't Call of Duty. You need sniping headshots right now, bro. Are you kidding me right now? Reload. It's just him. Come on, let's go. Now, it sounds like hurry it. Up. Sounds like time cop. It sounds like a time cop battle at the arcade. Lee, reload. Did he really scare them away with his little pea shooter? Get out of here. The guy's got like an AK-47. Game? Come out with your hands up! Now! Uh-oh. Oh. What the hell? Oh. Oh, oh buddy. Get. Holy That's awesome. That's awesome. Ooh. Luckily he's slow. Swiggity swoogity, he's coming for that booty! Go, go, go. Keep going. That's not gonna hold him. Go! Fine, that's Fox. Alright, I lost him. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> yes! That was legit. That was legit. That was awesome. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That was awesome. We didn't see that coming at all. That was awesome. That was amazing. What are we looking at? Is he breathing? That is remnant eyes? What's glowing? Oh. 
What is that? Part of his body, do we know? I love the sound of his footsteps. How heavy they are. Jesus Christ. God, I hate that thing. <laughs> yep. Ah. That mess. guy kind of sucks. Right? It blows. <laughs> Jeez. I just got shot at by a submachine gun and chased by, like, a living robot creature. Oh, man, that dude That dude sucks. Yeah, I yeah, hate that. Dude, that. That that was less than ideal, guys. <laughs> Understatement of the year. I got to get back up here now. How about you get out? How about you just leave? GTFO, man. Get Leave. Walk home. Oh, come on. What did you think? It's an abandoned, empty building. All these office buildings in my mall. Right? God, get these. Office, get these. Offices. <laughs> I guess they're not individual office buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> yes. There we go. It's like it's like a Russian God, nesting doll of God. office buildings. Yes. You, you can kick the door open. Kick it. Uh, oh. oh, you decided to go through the small window. <laughs> Instead of the actual door itself. Okay. <laughs> sure. Yes. That was a choice. It works. All right. Let's send in the cavalry. It's real. Yeah. This is amazing. Come I on, love this. Come on, pick up. Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got. Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. Yeah! Which stands for Mitchell Clyde Police Department. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy. I'm that guy. First day on the job, but I'm the owner of this police department. Let's go! Shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I 99 North. I got two. So he knows the mall. He, at first, he was like, what is this place in the woods? And now, apparently, Northview Mall is just a thing that people know. Well, didn't he look at the map? Oh, you're totally right. Yep, yeah. He did, yeah. Armed and dangerous suspects with machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Machine Physical pistol. description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance. <laughs> this sound like a fucking prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. <laughs> Isn't there like a like a badge number or something that I could deliver in this moment? Like, mm. hey. Yeah, maybe it was the fact that you were shouting at the top of your lungs. Mitchell Clyde! Just give me Mitchell Clyde, MCPD, I'm running around! I'm located in this office! Look for the one with the broken window! Thanks, Mitch. Good one. Good one, bud. Damn it. Fiddling with the camera. Chris! What? He's still alive! He got to one of the phones! Alright, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. Lore! It's your robot! I don't know. Try to call it back. You know, I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of here. Wow. 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 That's how you can tell that they're the villains. Yeah. They're calling possessed Foxy a worthless piece of poop. Yeah. Put respect on Foxy's you know, name. Get out of here, man. Man. Get out of here. How dare you? I'm offended. I know. I hope Foxy tears them apart. Yeah. That'd be really cool. Although the idea of, like, rolling with your animatronic buddy. Oh, uh, yeah. That's kind of cool. Yeah, like, that would be pretty, pretty it's fun. It's just like how you have, like, in World of Warcraft, you have, like, the familiars. Like, every, every game, everyone freaks out when you have, like, an animal familiar that, like, rolls with you on your quest. But, like, if you have an animatron, like, an evil animatronic that rolls with you on your quest, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Who's, like, who's your animal familiar going to be, Ash? Um, animatronic familiar. Ooh, my animatronic familiar? You too, Sam. Think about it. Ooh, okay. Because it's kind of like, you know, in Club Penguin when you're walking around with a bubble. <laughs> Like it's like yeah, it's exactly that. Yeah, or like Pokemon or yeah. any any of that stuff. Yep. And then you go back to their igloos, and there's a ton of puffles, and they have to wake up and decide which <laughs> which puffle to take around with them. Oh, Club Penguin. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. So. So I'm... what puffle are you choosing from the FNAF roster? Oh yeah, the <laughs> the FNAF puffles. Uh -huh. 
Mm, I mean, Fox is a pretty good one. Snuffles. <laughs> um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I think Baby would be a really fun one to carry around. Yeah, walking around with just like evil clown robot. Yeah. That's yeah. terrible. That's terrifying. I feel like that's like the most chaotic choice oh, of all bon of them. Bon 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 Bon. I would take Bon Bon. Uh, cool. I, th I think that's a win. And then it's just attached to your arm, or does it free roam? I think he free roams. Okay, free roams. What about you, Sam? Who's your animal familiar? I don't know. I don't think this counts as an animatronic, but sure. I want hand unit. <laughs> Just like the little... Just, he's got a great voice. Little tablet to narrate your life. Uh -huh. It's like the Stanley Parable narrator. Yes! yes! That would be awesome. You're, you're just taking the Stanley Parable narrator with you everywhere you go. That's awesome. That's really cool. I like that. <laughs> it's your turn. Oh, for me? Um, I think I would go with... Part of me really wants to like the puppet. Like, I, I wish the puppet would do it. But it's just too, like, spindly. And, like, I just imagine what the puppet would do in battle. I'd be like, wow. It's like, that's lame. I don't want that. Uh, I will say Toy Chica from Glitched Attraction, where she just hauled off and punched people in the face. That was sick. That was that sick. That was pretty sick. And so when I think of Toy Chica, I, I know whatever, the oh, Toy Chica. No, but I'm thinking Toy Chica Glitched Attraction era, where she just, like, you run into her and she's just clocking you in the jaw. Yeah. I think that's hilarious. And then she can probably like remove her beak and stab you in the head with it. Yeah. I think I think Toy Cheek is my, my go to at this point right now. Yeah. In in this moment. Either that or Mangle. I think Mangle would be fun. You love Mangle. I do love me a good Mangle. Yeah. Love love me a Mangle. Give him the old mangle dangle. Yeah, man. No, let's not give him the mangle dangle. That's not. That was a that was a deep cut <laughs> was, into previous GT lives. Let's not give him the mangle dangle. That was a deep cut. <laughs> Oh, this one's a fun one. All right. It is. It's got to come with us. Don't make me regret this. Come on, we're on the clock. So, yeah, my guess here is that these guys are working for William Afton, right? They're collecting the animatronics so they can melt them down into Remnant. I, I, that's my guess. But then again, this is happening after FNAF 6. Or at least the like FNAF 6 interviews, as we learned about at the beginning of the last episode. So, from a like timeline standpoint, I'm like, oh, these guys are stealing all the old animatronics that are possessed. They can melt them down and get Remnant, maybe for William, but or maybe some security. Beast. Jesus! It's like, damn it! I I understand. I played the games too. It's really obnoxious, isn't it? You, you hide, man. Get out. Sound design of Foxy's solid. There he is. What were you doing? How you like that, you coward? How do you like that, you coward? I love that. That's how you can tell that they're villains. Yeah. They have great catchphrases like that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even really understand why. I think it's so funny. It's just really funny. Yeah. Well, like, also, coward is, like, an interesting yep. choice. Right. Because, like, it was objectively very bold of him to do any of what he's doing. Well, that's why, I mean, that's why that's, of everything that they could say, that's what cuts the deepest. Yeah. It's like, hey, you thought you were being brave and heroic here, but no, at the end, you're still a coward. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the AK-47, mini pistol, whatever, it's gonna hurt physically, but it's the words. <laughs> It's yeah. the words that are going to cut the deepest. You're overcompensating for some deep insecurity. And yeah, I know Mitchell. exactly what that is. Yeah, Coward. Mitchell. Yeah, ca whoa. You may have just shot me, but your words shoot to the quick. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> There's that heavy metal band that we're all in. Chase each other in a circle. Chase each other in a circle. Huh. Is, he, is he using the flashlight to slow him down? Is this like a FNAF 2 moment? It kind of was. He was like flashing it like... Eh, eh, eh. Keep flashing your flashlight! It's confusing him! Oh, he's got a taser too? Smart. I feel like we might have wanted to use that earlier. 
I'm so, I like the two robbers. They're like, oh, we're good here. The scrappers. Didn't think that would actually work. No? I have a taser that's an electronic weapon, like electric weapon, and I'm being attacked by a robot looking at that. It, it's worth a shot, at least, you know? It's worth a Hail Mary shot. They made it in a hurry. Yeah, man. Like, let's be honest. They got here real fast. They even sent out a helicopter for you. That's expensive. That's costing the taxpayers a lot of money right there for these scrappers. It's true. Oh, we got our... Oh, we just heard... We just heard where we got scrappers on the loose at an abandoned mall in the woods. Let's go. <laughs> Protect our scrap metal. Go. Go. That <laughs> just hunker down, man. Just hunker down. You're bleeding. They know you're there. You just hide. Just hide. Wait for the cavalry. I urge you to hide. Freeze! Hands up! Blue! Blue! Don't shoot! I'm with you guys! Identify yourself! Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD! Wait, Clyde? Y yeah! Yeah, Sarge, it's me! Holy Stand down! He's with us! Oh. I thought this was the moment where, like, Dave Miller reveals himself as, like, the true villain. It's just like, I'm William F. Oh, we're lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both mine and Daryl's radios are busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. I see. Where's Daryl, then? Wasted, Sarge. Got Wasted. shot up pretty bad. I think. Wow, that's. <laughs> I'm sure they must. <laughs> Wait, just like cut to slow mo, like black and white. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Wasted. <laughs> like, there's got to be like a more polite term for "Hey, my partner just got shot and died." Like. Wasted, I don't think, is the, the way that we're describing this in the, in the cop I mean, industry. I don't know. What else? How else might he describe it? He could just be like, dead. Fallen in the line of duty. Deceased. Fallen in the line of duty. Like, I mean, insert any of those are better than wasted. <laughs> I don't know. KO'd. Not thriving. <laughs> <K -O'd. laughs> his, his crops have been spoiled. Yeah. His crops are spoiled. Spoiled crops. His skin is not clear. No. <laughs> He's not doing well. It's turning purple as we speak. <laughs> oh, Rigor no. mortis, my good sir. Oh, well. Dead. Damn it. All right, where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Pretty sure my lights are still on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. I, yes. I was shot. I, I, I believe I was shot. So, can, can I... Can I not do that? Can I just, you know, can someone please give me medical attention? That'd be great. Sarge, I'm so sorry, but as you can see, there is blood falling out of my leg. <laughs> Sarge, I'll get right on that. But I have literally been walking around for the last hour with blood pouring out of my spleen. So, Ooh, if that's just, spleen. Yeah, just a little bandage. Yeah, oh, man. Yeah, I got ooh. right in the spleen. Yeah. Yeah, right in there. Either that or the pancreas. Ooh. I would make a. I would have said pancreas, but then it, it was summoning too many Ban Ban references, and I'm like, I can't do it. Uh, can't yeah. can't be summoned in the Ban Ban. Can't believe Ban Ban claimed a part of the body. The pancreas. <laughs> Ban Ban said that part. That's mine. That's mine. That that pancreas. It's mine. <laughs> Alpha Squad on me. You hurt? I got my head bashed pretty hard and I'm shot in my thigh. Other than that, though, I'll live. Shot in my thigh. It, oh, it's fine. No worries. Shot in my thigh. And you <laughs> <laughs> There's some there's some major arteries running through your thigh. I'm just saying. Like, it's okay. I'm all right. Bullet shattered my femur, but we're good. It's okay. I'm, t I'm toughing it out. I'm walking it off, Sarge. Oh, Mitchell. I'm so sorry, my friend. I'll try. All right. Good. We need all the help we can get before they escape. What do they look like? Hard to tell. They were in black. Both of them were in ski masks and all black. So it seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol. You know, because he's guy. dead. Because he got wasted. <laughs> you know, as as we've already communicated to each other, he's dead. Six feet under Sarge. Crops not thriving. I got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't catch the other guy's name. When's the last time you saw him? 
Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. All right. Bravo, Charlie, sweep this building. Let's smoke these guys out. The rest of you are on me. Let's move! I don't know. If I heard a helicopter coming to my location, I'd be out of there. I'm like, all right, we're done. Let's, let's move on. I'm not sticking around this place. I just now imagine him walking around with a bullet in his thigh this entire time. Like, this, this is terrible. Ooh, they're advertising Slayer. Very nice. See, now this is the appropriate amount of graffiti. There he is! Hands up! All you know, you gotta have gone. Let me see your hands! Drop the gun! Don't forget to put your hands up! Drop the gun and show us your hands! Oh, they already found it. Gee, they are aggressive. Alpha 1, Alpha Copy. We're pinned down! The assistant's on the second floor! He's down! Three neutralized! Okay, they're, they're down? He's down! Down. Three neutralized! Okay. All units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot, get hit. It was a clean oh, kill. Nice. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. We're not done here yet. I, I like that this is, like, Spectre is clearly a fan of, like, CSGO and FNAF. <laughs> like, <laughs> like... <laughs> This is like the FNAF version of CSGO, it's amazing. Splinter Cell meets Five Nights at Freddy's. That's awesome. <laughs> Soap! Soap, we need to get in here! <laughs> Some Call of Duty references, yeah, it's amazing. Any idea where his friend might be? There. I think that answers your question. <laughs> Fallen! On me! Let's roll! Police department, come out with your hands up! I can't have the door stuck! I can't open it! I locked myself into the bathroom! <laughs> sucks. Hands up now! on your fing knees! I mean. What's your name? your name? Identify yourself. Henry. Henry Emily. Ha! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> There's just something about the last name Emily that like is not a Henry, Henry Emily. It's not it's not as as strong like Afton. It's like strong, you know. Emily's a very softer name. Emily. Emily. Hem Henry Emily. Like is, is that your middle name or, or is, is that your last is that your last name there, sir? Like oh yeah, it is. It is. So Henry is one of the robbers, one of the theft guys, huh? That's a, that's a twist I didn't see coming. Really? It's a, it's a, that's a weird pivot. Right? Really? Apparently so. It's like, I feel like, I don't know, I'd expect him to be like held hostage or something. No. If there was something real spicy going on. No, man. He's... What's Henry doing here? Right, because he is one of he is the other guy, right? Like we're not because you're totally right. Like maybe he is the hostage, but it doesn't look like he's the hostage. No, it doesn't. No, he's the other guy, which is strange. So what's oh. he doing? What's that? I'm I'm invested in the story. I think this is really fun now. Yeah. This is great. Oh this, yeah, this, I'm this, in. It's so like I'm in. It's so over the top and ridiculous. I kind of love it. What's Henry doing? He's kidnapping all the, the animatronics, or he's stealing all the animatronics back so he can, like, melt them down. Because, again, if this is happening after FNAF 6, because we saw the, like, interview, like, scrap interviews, then maybe, yeah, he's just trying to, like, bring them all back together and end this thing. Oh, I mean, I guess that would explain how maybe. he's in charge of the animatronic. Yeah, that's like, true. Like, if he's the one, like, bearing Foxy. That's true, yeah. If, if, if he's rolling with his FNAF animatronic familiars. Yeah, yeah. his familiars. Let's roll out! Yep. Sick of Foxy. That's <laughs> <laughs> my fox. <laughs> oh, no. I love that. That's right. the Emily kicking in. That is. That's the Emily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Henry. Emily. <laughs> there was this one um, theater exercise I had to do back in the day. Yeah. Um, there was like a word we had to say. I don't know if it was like, it was something along the lines of like devil angelical or like something oh, like that. Okay. And you had to say like. What a theater thing to say. Right. Just in general. Like say no more. Yeah. Okay. Say less. Um, but you had devil to, angelical. You had to say like devil or whatever that word was in that like very aggressive voice, like 
like anger, hatred, and that, and then soften up as you go to, and then that's how I, that's how I hear Henry Emily. Henry Emily. Yeah, exactly. Devil Angelico. Yeah, basically. Yeah. I, lo I love that that's a theater exercise as though, like, you know, real human emotions pivot on a dime like that. Like, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, totally. That's absolutely what yep. people that, do. Yeah. That's a good way to um, that's, portray the human experience. That's, that's how you organically portray human emotion. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry. I right now I'm not angry anymore. I'm so good. I got over it. I got over Henry, it, guys. Henry, like, Emily. Henry, like you, like hemorrhoid, Henry, Henry. Hemorrhoid, Emily. Emily. <laughs> you see, that's the mental picture yeah, that why, you yeah. hold in your mind uh, while you're yeah. saying Henry. Yeah, you're or backed devil, up. You haven't had enough reasons or, today. The yeah. fiber's not flowing. You know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm better and, now. You know, Emily is when you're having like a balanced, fiber-rich diet. Yeah, you're thriving. <laughs> your crops have been harvested. They have been processed into wheat. That wheat has been turned into yeah, into, yeah Weetabix, and you've, you've consumed it. They're they're thriving. They are. They have they have throve throven. Throve. So anyway, <laughs> that is the latest of the Spectre uh, FNAF VHS tapes. What a blast! I I'm really enjoying this series a lot. I'm very excited for what comes next. Uh, based on the current rate of return, it seems like these come out every two months or so. So I guess we have a little bit of time to wait. So next time we'll probably be popping into this world is late spring or early summer. I, but hey, I will be here for it. Uh, this is a delight. It is, it is kind of over the top and wacky. And, but man, I tell you what, some brings me joy when it's Foxy chasing you through an abandoned 90s slash 70s era mall with Henry Emily in a black ski mask trying to kidnap animatronics. Like, and everyone else is, thinks that they're in an episode of CSGO. Awesome. Also, like, R.I.P. John Green. Also, yeah, he's gone now, which is a, a sad, yeah. sad state of affairs. It so, is sad. You know, any, any universe that had him present, though, the universe I wanted to live in. Wait. Oh, my God. Okay, so he died in this universe, right? But we know him in our universe. True. And this is years and years after the fact. So, what if there was John Green Remnant and it was put into an animatronic? John Green is a robot guy! Yes. Oh, wow. He's like the third closet at this point. Maybe even the fourth closet at this point. Yeah. He's like full-grown adult John. Yep. Wow. Maybe mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a robot kid. Robot man. John Green is a robot. You heard it here first. It's yep. a theory. John, here you go. John Green is a robot. In a good way. The best way. Yeah. But hey, that's just a theory. A poorly substantiated joke <laughs> theory. Thanks for watching. No, uh, anyway, it wasn't a theory, but it was a live stream. A live stream for you. It, it Thanks so much for watching. It wasn't a live stream. What? It wasn't a live stream. Matt. Maybe I wanted it to be a live stream. I would have appreciated some communication about that prior. <laughs> got confused i'm so <laughs> where am i right now what universe is this is this the au where john green is an animatronic or not i don't know reality is blurring for me henry emily bye guys it wasn't a live stream but it was a video a video for you see ya